Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on Casper. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about Casper. Now I'm going to start with Scansper Explorer. It, now I don't know who Charlie is, but I took a look at this project he has going on and it's incredible. Huge news today. I'm happy to release a beta version of my Casper Network Explorer. Scanspur is a community project where you can follow all Casper Network metrics, NFTs, projects, top holders, and much more. With Scanspur, you can follow your account, check your rewards, NFTs, transactions, and I like the way this looks. The layout is absolutely incredible. Compare and find the best validator to stake your Casper. That's a great tool to have. Get information about projects that are building on the Casper network. You know, there's a lot of projects that are building, and yet they go untalked about. People don't even mention it on crypto Twitter sometimes. I feel Casper is one of the most overlooked gems out there today. I still feel in the next run, it can surpass $3. Identify and follow transactions of known wallets, team, exchanges, and top holders. This is a great app. You need to check it out. And a lot more features. Rewards Calculator, Genesis Account List, Complete, Explorer. I developed Scanspur alone on my own time and was not funded by any grant. If you want to participate and support me, the best is to test the application and give me feedback. You know... When I started this channel, I always said, as this channel grew, if I see something that goes unrecognized and it's a great project and it needs some recognition, I will talk about it on this channel. That's why I wanted to bring attention to this. You can follow Charlie over on Twitter. You could also check out his app as well. Casper Wallet, built by Casper, co-founder and creator of Casper Live. Breaking news, the new Casper Wallet is here. Say hello to the safest and most user-friendly wallet audited by Halburn Security for managing your Casper and digital assets on Casper Network. Now, we are at a time in crypto where scams are popping up left and right. And as these cryptocurrencies rise in value, those scams are going to amp up as well. You got to be very careful with your crypto. Keep it as safe as possible. You know, it, when something sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Don't be clicking on the wrong things out there. And definitely don't store your crypto on exchanges. Fiat on-ramps are in the roadmap. Expect announcements around this soon. That's going to be very big when it comes as well. Both Android and iOS versions are currently in development. A lot of people are asking about phone apps. They're coming. I think this is something that's going to grow out and become something incredible over time as well. Casper Accelerator Grant Program Update Highlights 289 applicants since November of last year. 80% pre-qualified, meaning are relevant to Casper and moving to Discovery Call to discuss what will be built, value to Casper, etc. 48% of applicants are dApps with 70% around NFT, 20% gaming, 10% in DeFi. 20% of applicants building are infrastructure and tooling. Projects chosen are geared towards synergy of ecosystem. Extending Google Cloud Partnership for startups. Adding benefits for those building on Casper. New grant around Oracle soon. You know, we're going to see a lot more growth and a lot more expansion around Casper all throughout the rest of 2023. Casper Network Weekly Roundup. Casper JS SDK has been updated to version 2.12.1. Casper Labs joined the World Economic Forum's Global Innovators Community. The Casper Punks Mint is live. You know, Casper Labs joining the World Economic Forum is a very big deal. You know, a lot of people hate the World Economic Forum, and I don't blame them. It's an evil organization. But Casper joining them tells me it's here for the long term. And I still know that it's going to be part of that new financial system through that partnership with IBM. People downplay that partnership. It's bigger than what people think. 
Mistra IO is an interesting community project built on Casper. In my opinion, social media, just like gaming, will play a huge role in the future of Web3. If successful, can become a gateway for more dApps projects onto Casper. And I believe social media is going to be a huge role and play a massive part of Web3 as well. But Casper is a well-rounded cryptocurrency tied to NFTs, tied to gaming. It's going to be tied to Socify in the future. Wait until more and more enterprise comes on board. They're going to choose Casper because they make it so easy to get into blockchain. Casper, I'm watching the world sleep on Casper Network as they build. Nucleus Finance partnered with WM Dayton Service, the central authority and data provider for the global financial market. It's not competition to XRP. It's going after something entirely unique. Don't get tunnel vision with just ISO 222 and payments. The financial system needs upgrading in every single sector. Three data standards, ISO 222, Actus, Casper, Fix, provide metadata definitions for each of the five asset classes. There are 32 contract types that can be replaced with smart contracts to represent the global financial system. Let Casper build. You know, people are sleeping on this cryptocurrency. They need to wake up before it's too late. I feel Casper is definitely going to be massive in the near future. On top of that, people are so focused around ISO 222, they don't realize Casper is going to be ISO compliant. It's going to be part of the new system. And it is in need of repair. The current financial system is a mess. Tokenized mortgages can prevent another housing bubble crisis, says Casper Executive. The possibilities are limitless with the amount of utility being developed. Now, back in 2008, they're saying most of the problem was around paper agreements. He goes on to talk about how tokenization can help the economy. And so Cubely agreed that tokenization can help revolutionize the economy, saying everything will be tokenized in the future. However, he claimed that developers need to be careful with how they tokenize mortgages in particular. One way to tokenize mortgages would be to create a PDF file on the term sheet. Then put a hash of that file into a token contract. But this would be a dumb token. That isn't any better than what we already have in traditional finance. In his view, for tokenization to succeed, the tokens have to be smart, meaning the financial agreement has to be machine readable and various parties involved must agree to code itself. Otherwise, differences in interpretation and analysis will continue, causing future disruption in financial markets. So tokenization, as that starts to grow and expand as well, Casper's going to play a very important role there too. I think it can dis disrupt that whole in industry in the future. But again, 2008 happened because we didn't have the technology to keep up with what was going on around mortgages back then. Casper price prediction 2023, 2025 to 2030 and beyond. Now, I never liked the way they do these price predictions. So they're saying in 2023, the maximum price is going to be 21 cents. Average price, 9 cents. Minimum price, 8 cents. But I think Casper's going to have a massive run this year. I think it's going to start with Ripple winning against the SEC. I think that's what's going to set off the next major run in crypto. And if XRP is hitting those high numbers that people are saying it's going to, Casper can get over $3 in my opinion. But they say it's not going to hit $100 all the way until 2050. I think technology and everything's moving much faster now. You know, people always like to do these predictions for the future, but they don't realize technology is moving at the speed of light. The fourth industrial revolution is here right now. Digitization is happening. Tokenization is going to really start to amp up over the next couple years. I think Casper will hit $100 before 2030. But that's my opinion on it. You know, we are at a time where you got to stay patient as well. 
You know, when a crypto goes sideways for so long, people get frustrated. You got to remember what you hold. You also got to remember, you know, institutional money didn't get here yet. A lot of enterprises still waiting on the sidelines as well. As that all pours in, along with the FOMO money that will come, wait till you see the price of these cryptocurrencies. And I think it's going to absolutely 1000x very soon. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.